Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but then the stars aligned and I was able to get a hold of something that I've been wanting to show on this channel so badly, and that is pegboards. There was a line of pegboards released by the Dollar Tree not too long ago, and I've been seeing people doing like DIYs with these on TikToks, and from the first time I saw them, I knew they would be perfect for making Tamagotchi displays. And the town I live in, even though it's not a super small town, it seems like our Dollar Tree either gets the super trendy products really late or they never get them at all. So I was not expecting to see these, but when I stopped in the dollar store today to pick up just one thing, there was an end cap of these and I was so excited, I just bought a ton of different stuff. I really wasn't sure what all we needed, so I just bought a ton of different sizes and accessories. And once we're finished, we'll add up how much I actually spent on the display itself. And this really is an experiment, so I'm hoping it'll all go well. But just to be safe, I'm not going to be using this to display like my most prized virtual pets, at least until I can guarantee it's safe and sturdy. So I just gathered up a handful of virtual pets that they're just not like ones I spent a bunch of money on. And uh, this is like a duplicate that I got when I bought a lot. And these were just kind of like bonus pieces that also came in a lot. So let's go ahead and get started with my idea and we'll see how it works out. My goal is to make a freestanding display stand that I can move around. Since we're remodeling, I don't want to permanently mount any things to my walls, especially considering that like my filming area right here, this is not my permanent setup. So anything that I can make temporarily um, is best right now. For starters, I have a piece of foam board um, that you can get this at the dollar store, but this is actually a scrap piece from a previous project, and I cut it down to the size of two of these pegboards. So let's get these out of the package and mount them to this board. We're going to try using these um, little mounting squares that you can pick up at the dollar store in packs of four. These tiles have little notches on the edges, so you just have to line up your tiles to make sure that the two notches rest together. They don't truly interlock in place, they just rest against each other. Now for each tile, on the top section, I added two of the little hangers, and these just snap into place. Then these little double-sided adhesive pads that came with, Next, we need to mount our tiles to our foam board. So my plan is I'm just going to remove the backing to the adhesive, and I'm just going to try my best to line this up on here, so wish me luck. I didn't do too bad. That is exactly how I was hoping it would turn out. This next piece is a display easel. This just came from the photo aisle. And there we go, a Tamagotchi display board! So the easel is not as sturdy as I was hoping it would be, which is kind of no surprise. It's kind of small. There were bigger ones there, but I was worried the bigger ones would cause the whole piece to lean back a little bit farther. As you can see, it does lean back quite a bit, but I'm hoping I can maybe find something a little sturdier around my house to keep it a little more upright, or I could even hang it on the wall using temporary command strips. But we'll give this a try. We'll see what this does. So now for the fun part, the hanging and placing of the Tamagotchi devices. I bought three different shelves as well as a little cup for like pencils, and I also got these metal hooks, which on the package they show um, using these to hold scissors. But I think what we're going to use for the Tamas and the virtual pets are these hooks. And these came in different sizes. I have the small, which these are an eight pack. These are the medium ones, which are a six pack. There were also some ones that were a little bit longer than these, some large ones, but I decided not to get those because I didn't think that length on the hook was necessary. So a Tama roughly takes up five holes on the pegboard and we have about 17, not counting this bottom row. So let's see if I can kind of divide the holes up and see how many Tamas we can fit on here. There's our first one. <laughs> So with these, it kind of threw me off at first. 
you take the top part, put it in the hole, and then it leans back against your board and stays in place. After adding my third Tamagotchi device, the entire board was just too top heavy. So what I did is I found this scrap notebook just sitting around in my basement and I put my pegboard in the stand first and let's see if I can do this successfully on camera. While holding up the pegboard, I just kind of wedged this notebook back here and not only did it correct the top heaviness, it's also made our pegboard sit up a little bit, um, just a little bit, at an angle that I like a lot better than it previously was sitting at. Get this nice and centered here, but now I can see my two tiles aren't perfectly centered together, but that's okay. Life can't be perfect, and I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. I just finished putting my Thomas on this display, and while it is super basic, I am so in love with it. There are so many different things that you can do with these pegboards, and it's just so cool. I can't wait to experiment more with this and come up with different designs, and honestly, this seems pretty sturdy. I, I'm not too worried about it other, other than the stand, but if it was wall-mounted, I would definitely go ahead and hang up some of my nicer Thomas. For the number of pieces that I used, I used six. Two pegboards, one foam board, one set of hooks, one black stand, and then if you didn't already have a notebook at home, that would be your six piece. Which I don't think that's too bad cost-wise, especially um, considering how many different pegboards you could put together. You could easily display like 25, 30, I mean, as many Thomas as you wanted to. If you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. I will definitely be posting um, any of the experiments I do with this pegboard on there. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this virtual pet DIY. And I will see you in my next video.